Good morning, friends. Sean here once again. It is January 17th, 2022. This month is really flying by. And we're back with another daily Wordle. As always, if you want to do this puzzle yourself before seeing the answer here, feel free to pause the video and go to powerlanguage.co.uk slash Wordle. That link is in the video description below. Again, if you like this content, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. Uh, but now, let's get into the puzzle. And we're going to start... You know it. You guessed it. My favorite starting word is Aegis. And today we'll get... Ooh, a lot of information here. Um, Alright. I'm wondering if we... Should try and figure out where these go, because this might be a lot of information. Uh, if the S is not in the end, then... Um, can't be siege. If the S isn't at the end, I'm going to guess that it's going to be at the beginning. Uh, I before E. Civ? Alright, we do have a uh, I. Let's see. <clears throat> so this is probably going to be S blank I. I'm just going to put an X in there. S blank I blank E. So, what can that be? It's, there's a, honestly a lot of words that can be. Um, letters that we cannot use uh, there. Probably not Q. Um, probably not W. Well, no. You can probably use W with something like swine. Um, y is probably out. Uh, probably we're not looking at any of the other, other vowels or Y. Um, so R, T, P, L... There's still a lot of options here. I don't think we're going to be able to get this in the next guess. Um, is there anything we can do to try and get... Yeah, let's do something... Let's try and put that I in the middle position and do another, another word. Let's do drift. Um... That'll get the T, R, and D. What can go after the S? Um, it's not going to be... It's not going to be the F. I don't think there's an F in this puzzle, so let's not do that. Um, we could go back to drink again. Uh, let's go back to drink. Um, that way we can do S, S N, S, K. Um... I'd rather cover letters that could go after the S than, than to try and get the other ones. So S M, S N, S L, um, S T, S C. Can we find a word that, like, um, Clint? Is Clint a word that we can use? Yeah, there we go. That'll get some information. That's starting to really narrow it down. Okay, so as the I is in the middle, as we expected. Uh, this is going to be either S P, S M, S H. Yeah, P M H. Let's figure out which one of those it is. Uh, and then if it is, it could be something like. Um, Spike, Shire, let's see, we have P-M-H-R that we want to try. Um, I don't think it's going to be Q, W, well, it's actually, it still could be Swipe, couldn't it? Um, there we go. There's a good word for us. Morph, that's using all those ones. And if not, we know it's probably going to be Swipe, or Swine. Okay, Shire. It is Shire in the end. Um, oh, it brings me back to the Shire. Uh, is that right? Yeah, it has to be, right? Shire. All right, got there in five. We got a lot of information right off the bat, but um, with uh, oftentimes when you have a word like this that has so many it has a very common structure. There ends up being so many options that if you tr start to try and guess early, you're going to run out of guesses before you exhaust those options, which is why we went back and did Clint and Morph to try and get, as again, as many consonants as possible uh, to figure out what went in there. Um, 
once we figured out where that I went, there's really no reason to um, to guess that again. So doing something like morph that allows us to, uh, it does waste that O spot. We, we kind of already knew there wasn't going to be an O in there. That'd be a really weird word. Um, allows us to throw the M, the R, the P, the H, and uh, really see what sticks to the wall. Um, be very curious with, with something like this that uses a lot of common letters, um, how everybody did. So definitely... Uh, mention that in the comments. I'd love to see uh, everyone's guesses and, and see what your thinking was. Um, if you arrived at the answer or if you uh, if you did not, I, I do love to hear those. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe. It really does help significantly. Uh, and share the video with anyone that you think would enjoy some daily word puzzles. That's all for now, and we'll see you all tomorrow.